I'd like you to select for me seven cards one by one. Just slide them out, place them on the table face down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a simplified Celtic cross and it's a seven card layer. So the first position here in the past talks, this is the past, past 12 months, 18 months. This is the present. This is the next three months. This is the answer to her question. And we give her the answer last because when you give people the answer, they don't hear anything else. Make sense? This is the energy around her at the moment. These are her hopes and fears. It's not reality, but your attitude just shape things. The glass is half empty or it's half full or it's been stolen. Okay. And this is the outcome in the next two years. Okay, so let's start with the past. And in the past I have the Ace of Swords. So this tells me she's been thinking about what would I like to be when I grow up, how am I going to get from here to there, planning, thinking, weighing things up. And she's been pretty clear about it too because this is an upright card. Okay, present time. This is what you want to see in a career question. Because this is a card, Six of Wands, of getting something new. New job, promotions, moving forward. It's the sort of thing where people on the outside say, you've been so lucky and you try not to punch them because it was hard work, staying up late, exor uh, exercising, doing a course, getting your resume in order. It's all these steps that you had to do. And then you were so lucky. Okay. The next three months, I've got Seven of Cups reversed, telling me that she feels like she's working hard, but she's treading water. She doesn't feel like she's moving forward. And that could be to do with her career. It could, could be other things in her life as well. We come to the answer last. And the energy around her right now, it says she's not fulfilled because this card's reversed. She's, fulfillment comes not in what you earn. It often comes in what you give back. So making someone feel worthwhile with what they do is sometimes more rewarding than giving them a raise. You know? Making a difference, in other words. And so this tells me she's a bit, she feels like she's not making a difference. She's not being effective. And that's just at the moment. Okay, these are her hopes and fears. So it tells me it's a very strong fear. Okay, so she's the queen of worst case scenarios. She's worked out the very worst that could happen, then she's added something to it, an extension. <laughs> okay, so when you look at that, and you look at the rest of the cards here, I can tell her now that to be fair, your fears are a lot worse than the reality. So even if it was a bit of a disappointment, she's gonna feel relieved, because she's thought of the worst things, you know? The outcome in the next 18 months is the Seven of Wands. Tells me she's on her, on her toes. She prefers to be busy than to be bored. She's one of those people, a bit of Wands energy. She, she wants to get out and get things done. And uh, she loves a challenge. She likes it when the day goes quickly. And when you look up and suddenly it's five o'clock, you know, and I've been immersed in this. Make sense? Okay, then we come to the answer. The answer is, I don't know where I stand. It's reversed. Page of Cups reversed. So Page of Cups reversed suggests two things, two possibilities. The first is I want to use my intuition in my work. The second is, um, how, where do I stand? Where's the ground? Well, where's the foundations that I can build into what I like? So can I have an extra card for here, please, with your eyes closed? Think the same question. That's great. Now we've got the eight of wands reversed. It's not a bad card reversed. Okay, it says there are a few delays, but actually things look pretty good in the long term with career. From the seven goes forward to the eight. In fact, the eight reversed goes back to the seven. So there's lots to do. So whatever it is you're planning on, on doing in the next two years, it's going to be a lot more work than you think it is. It's one of those lives where if you read the magazine version, all oh, this is a great life. If you're living it, you're juggling things, there's lots going on, you know. It's, it's, it's work. Making it look like the life in the magazine, that's the trick. Is there any area you'd like me to make clearer? This one? Mm -hmm. Hopes and fears? Okay. Think of the question still. I'd like one more card, thanks. Ace of Pentacles, what I'd like to do, I hope it will, I can make it pay. And that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now she's nodding. Mm -hmm. Okay, because mm -hmm. let's face it, you don't just work, you're not working for a charity, you only want to make some money, mm -hmm. you know? And look at the Pentacle card. Can I just show you what it is? A Pentacle card is very simple. It's the two feet, the two hands and the head. It's about keeping your mind above your desires. So if it's upright, it means if I earn $100 a week, I spend less than $100. It's when it gets reversed, we get into trouble, and that's called debt. And you know what happened? Pentacles people invented debt. They said, well, listen, I've got some spare money, and I could rent it out to you. Bang. And they've been living a nice life ever since, for the rest of us who can't live on the $100. Now, does this make sense? Okay, great. Thank you.